Now again, so this is the second part of this. I, I've just shown that 1 minus 2i is a root that um, equation. And now I have to factorize this expression into linear factors. So, OK. We've got that 1 minus 2i is a root of it. So 1 minus 2i is a root. We're given that. Now, by the conjugate root theorem, plus 2i is also a root. Therefore, z minus 1 minus 2i and z minus 1 plus 2i are factors. Let's just multiply this out to see what it looks like. Z times Z gives me Z squared. And I get minus Z to 1 plus 2i minus Z into 1 minus 2i. And then I get minus 4i squared. No, no, I don't. Let me just correct myself. Not at all. I get minus, I get plus, I'm multiplying the last two terms together, 1 minus 2i into 1 plus 2i. Right, doing a bit of simplifying, this will give me z squared. Now, this will give me minus z when I multiply that, this will give me minus z. If I get minus z times plus 2i, and minus z times minus 2i. So the opposites, they'll cancel out and I'll end up with minus 2z's in that. That is combining that lot. Yeah. Now, I've got my two brackets on the end I've got to deal with as well. Plus 1 minus 2i and 1 plus 2i. This is the difference of two squares. So this is 1 squared minus 2i squared, get z squared minus 2z plus 1 plus 4. The reason this is 1 plus 4 is because 2i all squared is equal to 4i squared, which equals minus 4. And when you do minus minus 4, it becomes plus 4. So and all the whole lot becomes z squared minus 2z plus 5. Okay, we're almost there for our factors. We've got two, we just need to find what the third one is. What we have now then, these are just the multi two factors multiplied together. So we know that z squared minus 2z plus 5 times the last factor that we're looking for equals our whole expression, which is right up here, z squared minus z cubed minus z cubed plus 2z squared minus 3z plus 20. And we're just going to equate the coefficients here. z squared times something has got to give us a z cubed, so that must be a z there. And then we look at the numbers end of things. 5 times something must give me a number there. That's because these are the only ways of getting z cubed is to do the z squared times z squared, and the only way of getting just a number by itself is just the numbers part, So, and that must be plus. So there we go. Now we haven't quite finished yet, even though we have found the third factor, because the question asks us to factorise it into linear factors. So let's just write it all out. Therefore, z cubed plus 2z squared minus 3z plus 20 equals z plus 4, that's the first one, into. Now here's our other two factors. What colour? Here and here. This is going to be z minus 1 plus 2i. z minus 1 plus 2i. And this one. 
this one is going to be z minus 1 minus 2i. And there we are as linear vectors, which is what we have to do. I will stop there.